Let's party with our hands up in the sky. This is Barbie Extra Fly. Hello fellow doll lovers, Barbie Nation here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your feed. Now let's dive into Barbie Extra Fly. Yes, it is time to dive into Barbie Extra Fly, and I am so super excited for this new Barbie Extra wave. There are in total five dolls in this wave, and I am just so super excited about them. I really love each and every one, and don't worry, I'll be doing reviews and restyles and lookbooks for all of these, because, yeah, they're just the dolls of this year for me besides the little mermaid dolls and the barbie movie dolls yeah it is a big barbie well yeah it is a big doll summer for us all we are literally overwhelmed with so many dolls coming at us at at the same time <sighs> yeah i hope our wallets will survive <laughs> this period in time because we need all of those dolls in our collection period <laughs> barbie extra fly yeah so i have the i think she is referred as the desert girl i don't know if that's correct but i've seen people online calling her the desert girl probably because they all have this theming and she has this uh super kind of like burning man uh, Coachella festival vibe to her which usually takes place in a desert location so I think that's why people came up with that nickname for her. Yeah I am really excited about her because she has some good fantasy hair and I am all about that of course. She has some very interesting boots on her and a super cute rainbow outfit. I just cannot wait to unbox this girl seriously. And of course Barbie and Ken. Yes, a Barbie extra Ken. We cannot wait. I really, really, really can't wait for him to arrive at my place so I can explore him and, you know, do fun things with him and give him cute looks. So, the box. It is this super cute, like, travel case, suitcase theming, which is, like, brilliant. And... The extra fly is referred to uh, actual flying with a plane, so not like some super street kind of like... Well, of course, it is a double entendre. Is that what you call it? It refers to flying as in flying with an airplane and just extra fly. You know? Not functioning or whatever, but uh, the shape is like a suitcase that has little wheels on the bottom and a rainbow handle, which is carton. So um, if you're buying this online, probably this is gonna be like 
this kind of like situation that I have here. So yeah. But if you want to keep them in the box, I think it will be safer for you to really go to a location where they actually sell them to get like a good condition box. Because these boxes can get really messed up if you order these online. And we all know how Amazon is shipping their packagings. Uh, I mean, sometimes these come in like this big envelope that you're like, okay. So the box, super cute. I cannot wait to get her out and explore what she is all about. Here we go. Wow. Okay, now this is what I call extra. One thing that is noticeable straight out of the box is, yeah, take a deep breath. Here we go. Poly hair mess. She has some serious, not only, okay, one, she has polypropylene hair, which is, of course, the most horrible kind of hair quality that you can have on a doll. And second, she has some very severe case of box hair. Yeah, okay. But I'm gonna do my magic on her, so... We are gonna make this work. <laughs> the face, not pixelated, <sighs> thank God. Uh, very cute face painting, and she has the carnival face sculpt, which is actually, besides the Sefi face sculpt, of course, one of my favorite face sculpts. Usually a lot of people do not like smiling face sculpts, but I actually really think they're super adorable because their auras are so happy, and um, yeah, they immediately transfer their smile onto me. So. The jacket is, well, it is, it's not something new. We've seen this before on the Barbie Extra number no. 5 girl who was also similar to this kind of like theme. She was also this festival girl with the rainbow hair and uh, yeah, and all of that. <laughs> this giant bag is just hilarious. And I love that they added these little charms to it that you can actually remove as you can see. So you can also transfer it to other purses. Really cute idea. Okay, so here she is without the jacket. Let's see, just one more time. It is a very cute jacket, don't get me wrong. It's super pink. It has these all these happy emoji stickers on it. But yeah, I'm really kind of over this oversized look for Barbie. To be real with you all. But this little rainbow number on her is so freaking adorable. I really love that. So she has this belt that has a camera with a heart-shaped lens on it, which is adorable. A VIP pass around her neck and this little scarf thing around her neck. A flower crown and these translucent pink boots. I am living living for the boots. So that does mean that she has flat feet. Yeah. When flat feet come this extra, I really don't mind. <laughs> this doll actually comes with a lot of stuff and finally... No more pets! Oh, they finally listened to us and we got rid of these ridiculous over-animated pets. So way to go Mattel. And the accessories actually are also really adorable. So you have this like extra fly card, like a boarding pass. So besides the purse, she also came with heart-shaped glasses, these huge heart-shaped glasses. This um, bottle, because 
the girl has to keep herself hydrated, of course. Um, extra fly concert tickets, a passport, and of course, a cell phone to record everything, make the cutest Snapchat filtered photos and little reels and yeah, just, you know, post everything on our socials, duh. Now, of course, the question is, what is her made to move body match? Because of course, I'm gonna give her a new body. Let's see. Okay, now let's see. Made to move body match. So I think she's rather more on the peach top side of the complexion. So I'm kind of running out of my made to move uh, stash. Yes. I always have some in storage, but uh, the tanned girl actually was kind of running out. <laughs> but it also resembles the uh, made to move soccer girl, which is this girl. So she would match, but as you, I don't know if the camera really picks it up, but um, she is a little bit too tanned for her. Uh, if you want to give her a curvy body, you could try the Barbie Lux Frida doll. But also, as you can see, it will work. It will look okay, but it's not an exact match, I think. I did find an actual match, which is the Barbie Lux number one doll. This girl. If you really want to give her a made-to-move body and you really want the best matching body for this girl, this is your girl. And maybe also the curvy dancer girl would be a match for her, but I think those are all kind of like similar to Barbie Peach Top made to move. And that's just a slightly bit too tanned, probably. Barbie Extra Fly Desert Girl plus Barbie Looks number one is gonna create my ultimate rainbow festival dream girl today. So let's head off to the salon and let's give this Barbie extra fly desert girl the Barbie Nation makeover she definitely deserves. Here we go.
These were my looks for the Barbie Extra Fly Desert Girl, and uh, she is just the cutest. I think she really has the highest level of kawaii-ness to her from all of the five dolls that are in this series. That's probably why I was so drawn to her to do her first. Aside from the polypropylene hair situation, I really do like this doll. I like all the pieces she comes with. I like the way her face is painted. And that is, I think my only critique is that she, A, she should have had nylon or saran hair, 
And two, she just standardly should come with a made to move body. But the looks, super adorable. Let's start with that Cinderella moment. <laughs> I mean, those Disney ILY forever dolls and fashion packs are just adorable. I really haven't done a proper review on the dolls, but I really appreciate their fashions and yeah, I'm really excited to see what is to come in the future of Disney ILY Forever. And of course, this Cinderella moment was the Cinderella fashion pack and that fluffy skirt, that fuzzy sweater. Everything about this look is just really adorable. And in the fashion pack, she also comes with this super cute little purse in the shape of a mouse. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. Just having a Cinderella moment with Barbie Extra Fly here. And then we rolled straight into the Roller Girl look. Now I did a uh, short reel on my Instagram of uh, the original doll that came with this outfit. It is part of this uh, summer series for Barbie. Really cute. And that Roller Girl, she's part of that. And so that also comes with the Barbie with a pink striped bathing suit. I believe there's also a Ken in there and another doll with some very cute furniture. It is just a freaking awesome Barbie summer. So this Roller Girl, the outfit, I adjusted it here and there, of course, because it's the original top that was on the doll. I switched that to a more kind of like tough girl tank top moment <laughs> yeah i really love this look on her maybe even the i maybe even like that look the most yeah even though this final look on her is like super kawaii realness the mr george's tea party oh, can we all just i mean that was such a cute moment and Mr. George, let me tell you, is a very cute story. Mr. George is from a online shop from a fellow Dutchie. Hello. <laughs> she makes these crochet uh, little animals and as kind of like a stuffed animal or a mini for your, uh, for your dolls. And the main feature of the shop is Blythe, actually. So the shop is called Next Blythe Family. Well, that is her Instagram account, but also her shop. Next Blythe Family, that is the page. And um, I've been following her actually for quite a few years, I think. So I found out she had a shop and uh, she has these crochet little animals just too adorable for words. So I got myself Mr. George, Mr. Bear, and uh, alongside there were some other tiny cute stuff that she sent along. I mean, ah, adorable. So this is Mr. George and those super long, like kind of like awkward long arms are just, this is the cutest. And um, it even has kind of like a wire uh, to them so you can twist and bend it and uh, attach him to anything you would like for your A diorama or B dolls. So that is just super cute and in this pastel pink color I am just super loving this little crochet stuffed animal for Barbie. And so there also is this little Mr. Bear, also very cute. And this tiny weird little guy, he is just, I love it when something is weird and cute. So this is giving me all of that. I mean, and the craftsmanship is just so well done. So, I mean, everyone head on over to the Next Bly family, check out her shop, check out her page. And she actually sent it over in this very adorable package and they were packaged in these like little houses. I love it when someone crafts these little thing. I mean, and the whole, I mean, thank you for that whole shopping experience. That was just adorable. Okay, so yeah, 
Mr. George arrived at my home, so I thought, you know, he just needs his own tea party. So that was the whole inspiration for this last look. So it's built up from all kinds of different uh, looks because the top is obviously from Barbie Extra number two. The dress is from a Y2K fashion pack. I don't know really which one. The apron, I have no clue if you know or recognize this apron because I think it must be from around the 80s. I would be really impressed. Yeah. Um, the high knee socks I got from AliExpress and yeah, there you have it. A super cute made inspired outfit to serve for Mr. George's tea party. Oh, so freaking cute. <laughs> So of course, you know, let me know down in the comments below which look was your favorite. Do you like this doll? Do you have this doll? Are you planning to get this doll? <laughs> you know, all the tea about her. Let's continue the conversation down in the comments below. I'm just really, I'm just really curious to read what you guys think of her and, um, what do you think of the Barbie summer we're all getting to experience this year? <laughs> Barbie 2023 coming at you in theaters and in super cute doll form. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Of course, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified by any new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram at Barbie Nation. That's usually where I post all of my updates. And until the next video, big kisses from me and I love you all.